All right. Sorry, I'm the, I'm the new guy. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Boom Outdoors. I'm just doing my makeup so I look good for YouTube. All right, what's up guys? Today is a beautiful start to my first official attempt at a keeper halibut from the kayak. Now, I have three goals this year. Catch a keeper striper from the surf. Boom, got that. Second thing, catch a keeper halibut from the kayak. Third thing, catch a keeper salmon from the kayak. Now, I'm kind of discombobulated this morning. My uh, remote's not working. I got here on time. Actually, I got here a little late. Uh, my fish finder wasn't working, figured that out. And I've learned a valuable lesson. Always tie your rigs pre-kayak. So have a bunch of pre-tied rigs ready to go before you even get on the kayak so you can drop lines and start fishing right away. Something I didn't do, I thought I could put it all together on the kayak, proven to be a little difficult. So chalk that up to just you know me being a kayak noob. So I'm gonna go catch up with the lost anchovy and Moo Outdoors. If you guys don't know who Moo Outdoors is, great kayak YouTube channel representing uh, Northern California and beyond. I'm trying my best to keep up with these pros. I think the guys out there all have keepers this season. So I'm just trying to follow in their wake steps to see if I can also put myself on a keeper halibut. So I want to tie a bounce ball rig, throw a frozen anchovy on it. I got some frozen anchovies that I caught uh, late last year. So more than enough bait for, you know, whatever I'm targeting today. And actually I'm seeing a lot of bait balls and I think some small stripers hovering off the bottom. So a lot of activity. I'm going to do my best, get the cameras going, sans remote, and uh, see if I can get some good footage of some good catches today. Fingers crossed, let's do this. I wonder if I'm in a striper boil. Got the ball in. All right, we're finally in. Finally in business, here we go. All right, let's go fish in. Send that down to the bottom. Go and we're fishing. So do you uh, know Keith and Moo also? Uh, I used to work with you, so I Okay. I got one. You got one? Yeah, shorty. Whoa. I got one. What the heck? Hell yeah. Ow. That was that was dumb. Yeah. Woohoo! First official fish on my kayak and I barely landed him. All right, we got ourselves a California halibut. All right, well, that took forever. Here we have a nice short, probably, I don't know, uh, probably 18, something like that. Keeper size is 22. We're gonna let this guy go so he can get bigger. All right, dude. Yes, first one. First fish ever on the kayak. Let's go. Oh, fish on, baby. Fish on. <laughs> oh, I got excited for a second. 
Yeah, my bait's still there. Dang it! <laughs> All right. Next one. Do it again. Man, we tried, buddy. So that was the first official time I'd ever taken this kayak fishing. Now, I've gone crabbing before, but the reason why I didn't go fishing in those videos is because rockfish was off season. Really, there's really only rockfish available at that time. And so, although I was able to put a halibut on the kayak, it wasn't a keeper, so I don't know if I can count that as my first official fish on the kayak. I still count it as the first catch though. So that last uh, hookup that you saw in the video, man, whatever it was, it either my ball weight got pinned in the mud or I had something big on and it unpinned because it turns out I was using barbless hooks. Now I made myself a rockfish and salmon setup uh, for my kayak and when it comes to trolling for salmon, of course in California, you need to use barbless hooks and barbless hooks only and uh, those were the hooks that I was trolling with. I didn't realize it until the end of the day and uh, I was thinking back and man, maybe that second catch was a big halibut that just unpinned because I didn't have a barb and uh, man, another thing that uh, I kind of regret is not really figuring out the Scotty mounts here. So these are the Scotty Quick Link uh, modular mounts and they attach these Scotty tracks. I have six of these tracks all over the deck on the kayak and it allows me to be modular works really well for my fish finder and uh, miscellaneous mounts. But when it comes to trolling, especially mounting stuff on the left side of the kayak, what happens is any pressure on the mounting arm wants to pull these things counterclockwise. And of course, you spin these clockwise to tighten them down into the track. So another thing I'm just gonna have to figure out before I take this thing out again. So hopefully next time uh, when I'm out on the kayak, I'll put on something you know worthy of being a keeper on the deck. I know this video didn't have a ton of action, uh, but this next video should, so hopefully, Bandit, we uh, are able to put some better catches on on the deck, and uh, we'll, you know, hopefully put a keeper on the next time we take this out to fish and film, so. Oh, this is Bandit, by the way. He's my little buddy. What do you think, Bandit? Should he bring you out the next time we go out? I think that's a yes. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next one. Be a wing, man. That's a fish. All right, we got George hooked up. Got a nice fatty right here. What'd you say, 26? Beautiful. It's that 9 a.m. beer, man. You called it. Right. <laughs> Good job, man. Thanks, man. Looks great. That's the dream right there.